What is up guys? Uh, I got a video for you. I got a uh, got nice little stack of packages here. Did some great eBay pickups. Um, um, just some news um, going around. It's Monday. Watching ESPN First Take. Uh, Skip Bales, or Stephen A. Smith is back back in the house and the new era of first take started with him and Max Kellerman really excited for that I really love watching that show and uh, I knew they were going to talk about it and I knew they were going to go there with Le'Veon Bell Le'Veon Bell I have to agree with both of them has to be one of the stupidest people I've ever met how do you miss four drug tests now he didn't fail a drug test Whatever. Uh, you know what? Skipping a drug test is pre it pretty much says you're guilty. Pretty much. I mean, am I wrong? Uh, if you skip a drug test, why? Apparently, rumor has it that he was um, he was getting treatment for his uh, his injured knee. I'm a Steelers fan, and I don't even believe that. Um, so we're gonna, we're, my Steelers are gonna be missing Le'Veon for the first four games of the year, and uh, you know, the Steelers are pretty much uh, the, they're either number one or number two best teams in the AFC, hands down. The only team better than them is the Patriots. Now, Patriots are losing Tom Brady for four games too, so hopefully it evens out a little bit. Um, I'd like to see the Patriots. I hate the Patriots with a passion. Sorry, Patriots fans. Sorry, Everett. Uh, but um, Tom Brady, hopefully them missing Tom Brady four games will hurt them. Hopefully they lose four games. I'm hoping. At least two. At least you go 500 in there. And Pittsburgh still has D'Angelo Williams. Even though he's 33 years old, but D'Angelo Williams almost rushed for 1,000 yards last year uh, as a backup. And he didn't even get the main, all the main snaps all year long. So... I'm not worried about it. I mean, Steelers have the best offense in football. That's hands down, period. I mean, you got Ben Roethlisberger, future Hall of Famer. Antonio Brown, the best wide receiver in football. And then Le'Veon Bell, the best all-around running back in football when he's, when he's on the field, of course. Uh, then losing Martavis Bryant all year. I, I've discussed that in the past videos. Uh, sucks, but the next man up. They still got Marcus Sweet, and they, got, they signed Ladarius Green, a, a very young tight end who I think is going to be a stud. Um, Sammy Coates, I mean, they, they got, uh, I said Wheaton, um, Darius Hayward Bay, if he can make a catch, uh, but I, uh, the Steelers offensive line still good, uh, I, I'm excited, Marquise Pouncey's going to be back and healthy, and their defense got better, I think that linebacker core's solid, uh, they're, they're looking better and better every year. And their, their defensive backs have improved immensely, especially towards the end of last year. Uh, so, and they added some new guys. Their second-round pick last year, Senquise Goldston, uh, was out all last year with an injury, and he's coming back this year. So it's getting like an. You know, we signed, um, a, we drafted a new safety. We drafted for our first-round pick was uh, Artie Burns, corner from Miami. So. I'm really excited because I think they're going to do some good stuff. Their defensive backfield is going to be tremendous, hopefully. Russ Cockrell, I think is the most underrated guy. I think they got William Gay back, so that's a big guy, a good veteran to have. Um, but I, Pittsburgh, you know, it's just, it's damn, it's disrespectful to the organization. I mean, Pittsburgh Steelers organization is one of the most well-respected organizations in the league history. I mean, they, they have got the most Super Bowl championships. You talk about champions, you, th you think about an underdog, small, not small market team, but they're not, the, they're not spending millions on free agency. They, dra they do it all through the draft. And I think that's one of the most damn respected things that you can do. And they, they're not a big money team, and they're probably the most – successful franchise in NFL history. They are, flat out. Uh, so I think that's disrespectful for someone like Martavis Bryant 
and uh, Le'Veon Bell to do that to the Steelers organization, make them look bad. But you know what? Shit happens, I understand. But twice, for both of them, this is twice uh, that they've been associated with drugs. One more time, and I'm done. Uh, I was pissed when I heard about Le'Veon. I was pissed when I heard about Martavis. But you know what? Um, hopefully they come back better, and uh, hopefully it's the last time this happens. So uh, let's get into the cards. My Indians are doing... Well, they just got swept by the Orioles, but we're still six games up in the division in first place. Um, so I'm still thinking, um, these are all eBay pickups, by the way, um, but I'm still thinking the Indians are in good position. They're, they might be losing out on the Mar uh, Aroldis Chapman sweeps, sweepstakes, um, but there's still a lot of things they can improve. There's a lot more bullpen pieces out there that can help them, and... Uh, yeah, so I think the Indians are in uh, good shape. Uh, well, thank God this card's in good shape. I paid $3.79 for this card on eBay. I saw this card, or not this card exactly, but I saw a card like this on uh, Eastern Connect Sports Cards uh, PSA submission. It's Chris, it was a Chris Bryant. I thought the card looked sweet. So I'm like, all right, the Indians got a little bit of a star in the rising in Francisco Lindor, so let's see if I can find one. Got this thing for $3.79. This sparkle rookie tops chrome. I think this is from Update, yeah. Rookie debut, June 14, 2015. But that's an awesome card. I'd love to get that slabbed because that's just a beautiful card. I'll be definitely looking for Lindor stuff at National. Uh... I'm a huge fan of the kid. The kid's a great athlete. Got the best glove I've ever seen. Um, I mean, he's just fantastic. He makes some stupid plays. Um, I mean, I, have, I didn't live through Ozzie Smith, or I didn't live through Omar. I, well, I lived through Omar Vizquel, but I didn't get to appreciate how great he was uh, for the prime of his career. But for what I've seen... Lindor's got all the promise to be the best shortstop I've ever seen. Uh, and I'm sorry, all you Yankees fans. Uh, all you guys are going to be hit, giving me hate for Derek Jeter and all that. <laughs> I better. <laughs> Funny story with this one. So, after the Cavs won the championship, I was thinking I was in Cavs mood, you know? And I was looking at, uh, I was looking at Cavs stuff. You know, Cavs, Cavs cards and products and stuff. And one guy that I saw that I really wanted a card of was uh, this guy right here. He played when the Cavs were in the classic uh, 90s, Brevin Knight era, Sean Kemp era, uh, with the black and blue, with the little, with the orange outline on the letters, or the numbers. Cleveland Cavs, or just this is it, Cavs on the front. And this guy was a big part of that team. I love, this guy was a beast. Uh, guys, real cheap. Actually, I didn't. Even, I haven't even paid for this card yet. The guy shipped it without me even paying for it. So I don't know if this guy's had it listed for quite a while and he just wanted to get rid of it. But I gotta pay it eventually. Uh, nice on card auto from 2013 Panini Titanium uh, Metallic Marks uh, Michael Cage. Nice pretty autograph right there. Numbered out of 299, I believe. Yeah, 200 to 299. So, awesome card right there. Love getting some Cavs stuff. Um, next package. Dude doing some extras. Oh, I love this card. Eh, doing this cool Gypsy Queen. Yeah, Seal Puig. I might send that in TTM just for shits and giggles, you know. I don't know if he signs, but hey, you don't know unless you try, right? And I got this uh, first Bowman card, of Bowman Chrome, of uh, Jordan Betts from the Red Sox. Don't know much about him. But this card, really excited. Painter's tape. Nice, nice. Uh, I really like uh, Inception, Bowman Inception. Really love the product. I think it's a great product. Uh... And I like this guy, too. This guy, I think, will be a very good hitter for the Pirates in the future. 
Uh, this nice on-card autograph, not numbered, but awesome card guy for three dollar buy now, three dollar shipping. Uh, Reese McGuire. I got tons of TTMs from him, so I don't know. I might as well collect some cards of him too. So that's an awesome pickup right there, especially for three dollars. The autograph's a little light. Um, actually, it looks pretty fun. The it looks better in person, but awesome looking card. Big fan of the guy, the kid. Great, great hitter. And catcher is uh, one position that the Pirates really haven't filled out since, for a while, since like Jason Kendall days. <laughs> Alright, cool. This next card I got is, I uh, really like this card. I was looking at Cavs stuff right after the championship. And uh, this is one card I saw. I, it was, I just threw a bid on it. I figured it would go for like 30 bucks. Went for like seven. <laughs> I was pretty excited about it. If I could get this tape off, so whatever. I'll get that later. Anyways, this is from uh, Panini Crusades. This is number 21 out of 49. I'm probably going to get this grade because this card's sick. Uh, this is the 21, this is the purple and yellow parallel of Kyrie Irving. Best point guard in NBA, in my opinion. Him and Russell Westbrook. Fuck Steph Curry. Um. <laughs> I honestly do. I think uh, my boy Kyrie is actually, he, I, he plays defense. That's for damn sure. Uh, I think that's the only thing that's down on Steph Curry. He doesn't play defense worth a damn. Uh, he might be able to, he, I just don't see, I just don't see the hype and stuff. He looked in the finals, he didn't show up. I didn't see him. I didn't see the greatness in Steph Curry during the finals. Didn't see it at all. Uh, I'm sure some guy on here is going to get on my ass about it, but I just didn't see it. I didn't see the unanimous MVP, you know. Uh, I didn't see anyone step up. Uh, I didn't see him step up, take the big shots. Well, he did take the big shots, he just didn't make them. Uh, but Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie doesn't draw attention. He doesn't, he doesn't trash talk. He goes out there, plays defense, shoots the ball, and goes home. That's what Kyrie Irving does, and that's what makes him more respectable than that punk bitch, Steph Curry. <laughs> but, uh, sorry for the language. God damn it. And I can't wait to see Kyrie Irving go back to the finals next year and beat the Warriors again. Probably, Warriors probably won't make it. Because they got no big men. People will just bully them down low. That's all they'll do. They'll just bully them down low because they got Draymond Green down there. Alright. So this is the big package I got. I bought... Oh, love these cards. Uh, I was really... I really got into this year's uh, Bowman Inception. And, uh... I got... You saw I got the Reese McGuire. But this year's... That was from... What year of Inception is that? That's like 2013. 14. 2014 Inception. This is 2015 Inception. I got in this, uh, I, I watched a bunch of case breaks, and, uh, you know, a lot of the same people you get in there. Uh, but this guy, this funny story. I, this one seller had a boatload listed it for 99 cents. I bought all of these, I think, for like 10 bucks, all total. This guy, the only reason I bought this one is because I had a few dollars on my eBay gift card, and uh, I threw a $1 bid on this guy, and I picked him up. Uh, he's in uh, he's in like almost every pack. Uh, Tuki Toussaint, prospect for the Braves. I figured what the hell, why not? I bought for a dollar. It's just gonna add a dollar, so not numbered, but awesome looking card. Cool name. I'm a guy with I, I like weird names. The world is Chapman, Amika Okafor, you know, Giannis Antetokounmpo's stuff like that. Tuki Toussaint. Yoana Cespedes, you know, I like my I like my weird names. My dad always tells me that. He's like, oh, he's got a weird name. You probably like him. I'm like, yeah, good chance. Um, next card, sorry to make this a 14-minute long video. Uh, Bobby Bradley, big-time Indians prospect, first baseman. I think he's got like 18 bombs in, in the minors right now, playing for advanced single A. This guy's going to be a stud, which Indians news. They just uh, sent up Clint Frazier and Bradley Zimmer to AAA. So that's cool. Hopefully they can get to Cleveland soon. 
Uh, another one, guy made his major league debut this year. Can be, he's got all the tools to be a great pitcher in the ma in major league baseball. Uh, but he just needs some more development. Uh, he just needs more development. That's all. Uh, Mike Clevenger, and he's definitely got the the hair going. So he's got the Noah Syndergaard, Jacob Degrom hair going. So Tim wants to come. So it looks good on the mound though. He's got all the pros. Or, Promise in the world. Bought that. I think that was the most expensive one. I think I paid two seventy nine for that one. And this one, my boy, we all. I I haven't picked up a card of this guy in a while, but I saw he was in this product. I'm like, I have to own it. That's this the one reason I bought this card. And I looked in the other guys. He had Bradley Clevenger, but uh, my boy Justice Sheffield, which they were actually talking about the Indians got Chapman or Beltron. He would have to be in the deal possibly. So I was gonna be pissed if I had to uh, if if Sheffield left. The Indians, but awesome cards right there. Thanks guys for watching. I got a nice little stack right there. That's gonna be it for the national most likely. Uh, I got actually I got a set card coming in that I got a really good deal on. Uh, a Yankee legend. Uh, I don't think he's the greatest at uh, his position ever. P people do. I I'm one of those guys who thinks a lot of people are famous just because they're on the Yankees. Uh, but you know. What you gotta do? Hold on. Never mind. Oh, jeez, I just zoomed in on my phone. I was trying to check the time on my phone, but anyways, I just zoomed in, so I gotta get smaller. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys. Yeah, I got that. Uh, I'm all over the place. I got that uh, set card coming in, and then I got another basketball card coming in, so that should be cool. So I'll make another video before nationals, but until then, I'll see you guys later.